Greeting and welcome all on behalf of Nimi Chennai. I am G. Rajeshwarna from NSTI Chennai. Our today's topic is area of control of switches and operation on emergency. Objectives. At the end of this class, you shall be able to explain the term emergency, explain the need to switch off the circuit during emergency, explain the method of locating the area, submain and switches in the shop floor and also able to explain the position of on and off in different type of switches. In our routine life, we used to say it is an emergency gives some way likewise. In hospitals, we can see an emergency ward which is always active and in emerge conditions. So, what is an emergency? Emergency is an unexpected occurrence and which requires immediate action towards it. In workplaces, emergency can arise. So, in the places like workplaces, the emergency can arise when a person got electric shock or any accidents or he is getting injured by any rotating part of the machinery likewise. In that situation, switching of the power supply will be the first and best solution to reduce the further damage to the victim. So, doing this, Every persons, every persons in the workplace should know the correct submain switches which controls the particular area where the victim remains. So, the industries are in workplaces, the total wiring is controlled by a main switch and the different different areas will be controlled by different numbers of submain switches. It is a sample of single line diagram of electrical supply system in a workshop. In this, there is a main switch and four sub main switches and their corresponding distribution board to control the electrical supply to particular division. In case of any emergencies, the corresponding supply should be cut off without delay. In a well organized workshop, the main switch, the sub main switches and distribution ways will have clear marking to show their area of control as like here. If it is not found, then it has to be marked. How to identify the area of the sub main control? To ascertain the area of sub main control. Switch off one of the submain switches and try to switch on the lights, fans and power points in that suspected area. If they do not work, we can conclude that the area covered by the fan, light and power points are controlled by the submain switch which we switch off now. Mark the area of control on the submain switch. Similarly, one after another, switch off the submain switches and locate the area of control. Mark the area of control of the switch in the plan of the wireman's section. However, in any emergency situation, if you are not sure about the correct control of the submain switches for that particular area, then it is always better to switch off the main switch itself. Do not waste time by searching. Now, the positions of on and off in switches. It is important to know the correct position of on and off in any type of switches. In case of iron clad switches. The handle of iron clad switches should be pushed down to switch off the circuit as shown here. If the handle is in upper position, the switch is in on condition. In case of MCB switches, in MCB switches we are having the knob operated. The knob of MCB miniature circuit breaker. MCB should be pushed down 
to switch off the circuits and when it is pushed up then the switch comes to on condition. In case of ordinary surface mounting switches, the ordinary surface mounting switches having also knob control. The knob of surface mounting switches should be pushed down to switch on the circuits and when it is pushed up then the switch comes into off condition. Now in case of ordinary flush mounting switches, generally in our household we are seeing this type of flush mounting switches. Whereas in flush mounting switches pushing the switch to upward position will make the circuit break that means off condition. See here when we pushing the switch to upward position the knob is outside in the bottom side the switch is projected outside in the bottom side and pushing the switch to downward position will make the circuit on that means the switch is in on condition. See here when we pushing the switch to downward position the projection is outside in the top side. The emergency situations could happen even at our home. So, identify the area of the control of the switch and mark them in the main switches, sub main switches or distribution boards in our house switch boards for a safety measure. I hope now you all understand what is emergency and the need of switching of the circuit during emergency situations and how to locate a area of control of sub main switches and what is the position of on off and the different types of switches. So, do not get panic act immediately in any times of any situations of emergency. Thank you and see you all in our next video.